Now in this session, we're just going to try and keep it a little bit simple. Last lesson, we, we created an app that works and switches between the page and, and it was fantastic, but it was slightly uninteresting. So what we want to do now is bring in all of our assets. So from the very first lesson, we've been looking at this design, we've been designing this bit and we've been creating all of our elements here and we've been right clicking on them and saving them as pictures. So saving as pictures. So once we've done that, you've then put them into your assets folder, which is now safely housed in your first app. If it isn't this way and you haven't got this file or you've forgotten how to do it, go back to lesson one and it does work you through how to kind of export all of the assets so that you can use them and get them into this assets folder so that when you're over on Godot, the assets folder that we've just looked at represents everything here. So if you haven't done that, let's just pause the video now and go off and go and export all of your assets and put them into the assets folder and make sure that you can see them in Godot. So that's lesson one and lesson two. So now that's all done, let's start building it all out. So it's fairly straightforward, it's very simple. We're just gonna try and get these assets into here onto each of the screens. So the process is the same. So I'll do it a couple of times for these screens. Now we have linked up the master scene. So every single page is using this master scene node, which is great, which means if we wanna change the navigation, if we wanna add more buttons, we can just go into the master scene, we can do it there and it will update to all of our other scenes, which is great. But the assets we're adding now are just for the individual page. So if we look at the home screen, what we want is our big text banner, my first app, and we want the ball, the, the little Pokemon ball here. And that's only going to appear on the first screen. So that's what we want to do here. So let's do this. So we're on the home scene and we're going to come over to the nodes. Make sure you've got the home scene selected because it's the node that we're going to use is a sprite node and it's going to sit just here. So press the little plus button and come over to the sprite. If you don't see your sprite node here in the recent added list, you can just type in sprite and it will come up and you can just double click and it will add it to it. You can rename it. So let's rename this one. Let's go down to where it says rename. Instead, we'll just click on it once more. There we go. And we're gonna name it ball. Okay, so this is going to be our, our Pokemon ball. Now the texture needs to be dragged to this area here. It's really important that you do that. Although you've got the, the node selected, if you grab the ball and you drop it here, it will create a new node and that's not what you want. So you want to move it all the way over to where it says texture and drop it right where it says null. Ah, and I've dropped it on the wrong place. So let's just get rid of that. Control Z. Doopy doo. Here we go. Took a little bit of time to update. So try it one more time. Drag it over and make sure you drop it on the correct one. And it sometimes moves, and that's what happened there. My mouse kind of moved and it kind of dropped it on the normal map. We don't want it on the normal map, we want it on the texture. So now we've dropped it on here, you'll see the node happen here. So we can drag that into place, which is roughly the center, and we can make it a bit smaller by dragging these handles. And if you want to hold down command to proportionally edit it or shift to, co to proportionally edit it so it doesn't skew it, that's a good idea. So let's get it about there. And let's drag it to the middle of our scene and just down a bit because we want the title to go above it. That's okay. We can align it a bit better later. But the first thing and the most important thing is to get that in. So get your first one in and then I'll repeat, I'll repeat the task just so you kind of understand how to do that. So let's just repeat the task. So come over to the home scene, press the plus button, type in Sprite if you haven't got it, or just double click on the recent. And now we've got Sprite 2, we can rename that. I'll have to rename the ball as well. Let's call this title text. And let's do the same here because that messed up ever so slightly. So call that ball. Now click on the title text. And let's go and find it. So where are you, title text? This is the one I want. So click, drag, make sure it goes on the texture null. 
and there it is now move it into place ah control z undo that for some reason it's gone all the way at the top there and you can scale it just by grabbing these handles but actually i'm really really happy with that just need to position it in the center and then you do the same so that's that one there so if we press scene and then save all scenes now because i've got all of my scenes loaded just in case i forget one i always press save all scenes and it kind of takes away any of the star the asterisk marks here it makes it very very simple so now what you can do if you want to you can delete this home scene button this rich text label because we no longer need that so right click and go down to the delete node and press ok so now we have it deleted and let's just test that everything works so save scene again or we'll save all scenes and press the play button and all being well we will have our new assets into our app now if you've got loads and loads of pages take a bit of time just to drag all of your assets into the assets folder just like I showed in lesson one before doing this this particular button and then you can move on to each of the pages and the process is exactly the same for all of the pages so you just select the scene that you want to add the the sprites to you add the sprite to the actual label here by pressing the plus and then you go through those steps and you add that now in the next video we'll just look at dealing with text that isn't a picture inside of godot